Alright, we on Alright. Right. Shalom, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites of the GMS Riley, North Carolina camp. Coming back with another lesson. Before we go any further, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahushai. Yahushai. Bahashim Kapodash. Bahashim Rachakodash. Next, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us the 100% truth of this King James Bible, along with the Apocrypha. And double shalom to the brothers who go out on the highways and byways and do these video lessons to feed the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Shamar Ward, GMS Prepare for Glory. The uh, brother Naquam, GMS Mission Successful. And the lesson we're going into today is we are cleansed by the word. And um, the first precept I have for you is Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. St. John. I mean, you said St. John? Yeah. I'm on my slide here. You good, bro. Take your time. Take your time. This is St. John chapter 15, verse 3. Now, now ye are cleansed through the word which I have spoken unto you. Right. See, this is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking who the word is going to call Jesus Christ, man. He said, look, you are cleansed by the word, not by water, man. Not by physical water, man. You know? This is how we get cleansed, man. This is the true baptism in these times, man, which is by the word. You know, because the word baptism means to, to submerge, man. You know, and was submerged under this truth that was given to us by Yahweh by Shem Yahushua through our apostles and our elders, and the elders are through our apostles, man. You know, so this is Lord Yahushua speaking to uh, his, his uh, 12 disciples, which later on became apostles, man. That was it on that. Mm -hmm. you, you can grab Ephesians 5 and 26. Alright. Yeah, Ephesians 5 and 26. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Right, see, by the washing of water by the word, man. What word it is talking about? It's talking about this Bible, man. Right along with the Apocrypha. This is how we get cleansed, man, by uh, doing what the scripture tells us to do. Oh, yeah, how about Shemar Shah tells us to do to the best of our abilities, man, you know? And the word sanctify means to uh, be set apart. That's how we get set apart from the way, from this world by us uh, uh, applying the scriptures, man, to the best of our abilities in our day-to-day -day lives, man. And keep the law and stages commandments to the best of our ability. That's what sanctifies us. That's what separates us from the whole world that we're living in. That was it, Annette? Uh, and that's through the word. Uh, which, you got something? Yeah, um, uh, hold on. Yep, so we get uh, cleansed by this word, man. What'd you say? No, I don't have nothing. Can I get uh, Psalms 119 and 9 then? Alright. Yeah. Then after that, you can grab uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. Isaiah 119 and um, 09. God. This is Psalm chapter 119, verse 9. Mm hmm. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? Mm -hmm. By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. Exactly. See, by taking heed thereto according to thy word, it's how a young man, a.k.a. an Israelite man, of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, are also you Israelite foreigners, according to the seed of your fathers, man, because the majority of the time, the Lord is bringing young men to this truth. But you also have... Uh, older men, you know what I'm saying, that are exceptions that comes into this truth, you know, and, and um, in the spiritual age, you know, that's, uh, they, they're young, man, you know, and that young man is going to clean his way through taking heed according to the word, according to the scriptures, man, doing what Yahweh Shema Shah tells us to do to the best of our abilities, <gasps> you know, that was it on that, uh, good, uh, oh yeah, Isaiah, right? 
Saints. You said 34 and what again? 34 and 16. Uh, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. <clears throat> Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and read. Exactly. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What book is it talking about? Once again, it's talking about this Bible, man. The 1611 King James Holy Bible, man. And it says, and read, which means to understand or to comprehend, man. You know? That's what that means by read. Read on. No one of these shall fail. Right. No one of these shall fail, meaning the prophecies, man. So no, none of the prophecies that the, the Lord said forth is going to happen is going to fail, man. You know, World War III is going to happen. The destruction of America is going to happen. The deliverance of the elect is going to happen. You know, and the destruction of uh, the two-thirds, you know what I'm saying, uh, is going to happen, man. According to the Bible. Read on. It says, none shall want her mate. Right, meaning you can't meet, you can't mate any book along with this Bible, man. This book stands alone, man. Why? Because it's the words of the Lord, man. It's the reason why this book is called the words of the Lord, man. Because the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that is found in this Bible is not a, a, the, the wisdom of this world. It's the wisdom from Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. You know? Read on. For my mouth have commanded, mm -hmm. and his, and his spirit... It have gathered, it have gathered them. Right, see, in the mouthpiece of the Lord is the prophets, man. And he have gathered who? Other brothers, man, a.k.a. other prophets, man, to do what? To teach this word, man. They got cleansed by the word that they was taking heed to by hearing the prophets, man. Starting off with the head of apostles and elders of great millstone, man. Because the prophets are going to teach you what you need to do to be in good graces with the Lord, you know, and what you need to do as an Israelite, you know. That was it on that? Uh, Get uh, Proverbs 4 and 7. Alright. Yeah. It's Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, get wisdom. Mm -hmm. And with all that getting, get understanding. Exactly. Wisdom is the principal thing. Why? Because wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is what's going to cleanse you, man. You know, it's also going to be the stability of the times that we're living in, man. You know, it's the principal thing, which the word principal mean a main, you know, or chief, you know. Um, it's the principal thing to get right now. It's the most important thing to get in these times, you know. You know, and, uh, and it says, well, all thy getting, get understanding. Understanding of what? Understanding of this Bible, man. You know, what's going to constantly cleanse you as you grow and increase in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding which the portion of Yahweh Bashimashah has given to you. You know? Uh, that was it on that one? Uh, uh, did you have anything else? Um, Second Peter 3 and 1. What's that say? Uh, they're talking about starting to be pure mind. Uh, Second Peter 3 and 1. Let me get it right quick. Um, let me see Second Peter 3 and 1. Uh, give me one second, Akim. Let me see. Yeah, you can bring that out. We can tie that in. Alright, this is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, now, I mean, I now write unto you. Mm-hmm. In both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Exactly. And how did he do that? By teaching the word, man. That's how we're going to remember the things that, we, uh, that we're we supposed to do in these times, which cleanses us. Because Psalms 119 verse 9 says, However thoughts of the young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to the right word. And how the word is going to get preached through, his, through the Lord's prophets, man. Which they are starting off with our head of apostles and elders of great millstone, man. You know? That's how we constantly get cleansed, man. That's how, that's how we constantly get edified, you know? You know, the Lord stares up our pure minds, man. You know? By the prophets, you know? And by Him increasing us in His truth. And I think the word stir means to, like, to provoke. Matter of fact, get the, you got the, def get the definition right quick. Alright. And then we're going to close it out. Uh, 
this is uh, the verb stir mm-hmm. to cause an spe- to cause an especially slight movement or change of position. Of see, yep, see a change of position, a, a change of, of lifestyle, man. You know. And how do they do that? By by taking heed according to the scriptures, man. That's how we constantly get changed by our lifestyle, man. You know, of the position that we was in in the world, we now get changed to uh to position in this truth. That was it on that? Kai. Kai, close it up, bro. Alright, Lord's will, this was an edifying lesson. Before we go any further, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahushah. Yahushah. Bahashim. Bahashim. Rahakwadash. Next double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They taught us this truth of the one, they taught us this 100% truth of the King James Bible along with the Apocrypha. And double shalom to the brothers that feed the elect through video lessons and going out in the highways and byways. Shalom. Shalom.